And hello there. Hello, I have this muted. Give me a second. There we go. There's the sound. Um, so uh, new run. We are at one in streak, and I've never done better. That is. L I said I would do a video this episode, and I've forgotten. Uh, I'll give you your next episode. <laughs> I will not keep putting this off. I promise. Uh, do I reroll stats? I have a battery right here, so I will. Um, I'll take it. I'll actually take that. It's not bad at all. Uh, the thing with uh, the D, whatever this is, the stat reroller, uh, is I'm <laughs> always too scared to use it. And, like, once I get a good, like, reroll, I'm set. Like, I'm kind of sad with this. This is, like, the good thing's a soy milk, almost, aside from the rate of fire isn't as good. This is close to soy milk level with not soy milk damage and no knockback. Or way less knockback, because I think tears by default have some knockback. Um, so, I like this. I could reroll into probably this rate of fire and better damage and I might if this run starts to be awful but I am content right now very very content very content um another thing with the DLC coming out it's like I'm content with the DLC's ending for reasons I said in the last episode and because there's a lot of damn good mods like I've been watching and I'll play uh, what's it fiend folio I think it's what it is. Uh, and it's like, I would love to start exploring those, but I don't really want to explore those until I'm like confident I've gotten everything I can get out of a uh, base game Isaac and DLC game Isaac. So I wait. I wait for any mods. Uh, especially with Repentance coming out. There's a 0% chance of playing my anytime soon, which I was like, which made me think it was an interesting decision for Anna to play it uh, now. But probably is the reason for that is because the. D, the mod dropped recently. I don't know though. I'm not a huge modder. I actually absolutely. I, I actually have never modded a game before in my lifetime. Ever. Oh, that was stupid. Any damage to monster is stupid. Uh, I don't mod for no. I don't not mod. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't mod for no particular reason. Just don't. Uh, I get enjoyment out of base games, perhaps. I don't know. I don't know. I just never really modded. If I play, like, Skyrim or something, or even, you know, this, you know, I have enough hours in those where I'm like, yeah, let's give it a shot. But, I just haven't. Have I been to the item room? Okay, I can't believe I got hit there. Stay vigilant. This is your precious Eden <laughs> streak of fucking one. Uh, oh, lordy. It's funny, because um, I uploaded this video, and I'm going to make the thumbnail later. Because my roommate's not home right now, so I like to talk to myself when I have no, like... Nothing in the back of my mind going like, ooh, someone's listening, you know? Though I don't think... I'm not concerned about him judging or anything. Um, because I say nonsense to him all the time. So it's like I'm not really afraid. It's just in the back of my head. I think I'd be nervous. Or like, not nervous, but like... More cautious of what I say, because I'm like, oh, someone's listening. I have an audience here, you know? So psychologically, even if I don't care, psychologically my brain changes, you know? So, I wanted to record this today and make thumbnails and stuff later, so I literally uploaded part one of uh, the video that I recorded like five minutes ago. Uh, didn't make a thumbnail yet, because I, like, I want to get as much recording done right now as I can. Um, and then, you know, when he's home, I'll work on thumbnails. So it's more... So it's less talking work while he's here, just because I know in the back of my brain I'm going to be more cautious of what I say, for no real good reason, to be honest. Um, but yeah, that's so I'm going to try to do all recording today. I don't rec mind recording sketches in front of him as much. Uh, you, I guess. Because sketches are more scripted out, because I know I'm going to say already. But if it's just improv, you know, I guess I'm putting this on YouTube, but it's kind of like... I don't know. Oh, that was stupid. Okay, I'm gonna hit myself for that later. Uh, I'll, one extra beating for myself. I don't know what that was. <laughs> but shit like that, I just feel like if he was here, he'd be like, 
That was stupid. <laughs> you know, and he, that's going online, really. Uh, but I, I, don't, I don't care with him. So, so I don't... I, but my brain will be different. It just is. Because when I record more improvisational videos uh, with him around, my brain acts differently. It just does. I don't know why. But... It's whatever, I guess. It doesn't really bother me. It doesn't help that we're... And by the way, if you're wondering, like, why does it matter if your roommate's here? Does he have to watch you play Isaac? I live in a studio apartment, and we have split the studio apartment in half uh, to save money. And, well, because we're going to move out together. Because uh, he was living with his mommy, and I was just in a, my studio by myself. So he moved into my studio. So we can get our, a place together as men. Men, men, men. Menly men, man, men. Um, and we would be out by now. But A, there's not a lot of good places out there, probably because of COVID. Uh, and B, we don't agree on where to go quite yet. <laughs> and so we, we're just kind of waiting. And now that I got the new computer, I have turned my closet into my little office. Uh, I am content with staying here for a bit longer. I don't know how much longer I have in me, but I got my second wind in. Wind in. So I'm content with chilling here for a bit. I'll be honest. I'll be honest with y'all. Uh, and I, I actually really like the closet. I don't love the closet, even though, despite how I made it sound just fucking now. Uh, whoa, let's not get hit by spikes. But, I like the closet a lot. Uh, it's not as spacious as I would hope, because it's a fucking closet. Uh, like, I, in the closet, it has a little slanted ceiling. So I can't even stand up properly here. So every time I get up, I have to be a hunchback for a couple minutes until I can leave. Until I can turn around and exit. Um, what else is he going to say? Oh, it's cold in here. Because there's no heat. Hey, I'll stretch my leg. Yeah, and I need to... Oh. And my, I need to stretch my legs every now and then. Because it's... Because there's no easy way to stretch my legs, put it that way. There's no leg room. I have to, like... It's kind of like when you're in a car, you can't stretch your legs, but you gotta adjust real quick. You know, you gotta move yourself. So... Other than that, I actually really like the closet. Um, I put a curtain up behind the door, because there's no door in the closet. Um, just to separate myself from my roommate a little more. Uh, and I actually feel like he's not here sometimes. Like before, when I was not even in the closet, just down in the open... I never felt like... Yeah, I'll sacrifice the heart. I never felt like he just wasn't here. I was... In the back of my mind, I always knew he was here. And now it's like, wow, I feel like it's in my own room. Which is a good feeling. Just because it's a good feeling to have your own room. Nothing against him or anybody. I think everyone can relate to having some privacy. Um, and another thing I like about the closet... Is I get way more immersed in games here. Like, you know, I put the fucking curtain up... Uh, I turn the light off. There's not much space in here, so it's like me and two monitors and the game right in my face. And it's just great, <laughs> honestly. I like it a lot. And uh, I basically tore my green screen down. Well, my first of all, my green screen is a cheap fabric I bought from uh, the fabric section in Walmart. Whoa, I'll take that. Thank you very much. So, um... I tore down my quote-unquote green screen. By tore down, I mean, you know, remove the tax uh, for this little curtain. Which is cool, because the light, when you're outside the curtain, gives a little green glow on the place, a little bit. Which I think is a little neat. Um, and yeah. That's the story of my setup. Uh -huh. And uh, for the computer, I bet you're all wondering what the fucking specs are. What kind of computer I got. The answer is, I don't remember. I'm not a computer person. I had my friend who knows about computers look at everything for me. Um, he went to college for four years in computer science. And I'm pretty confident he knows what he's talking about. The only game I've tried on my computer is Isaac. But I'm sure it'll run games well. Very well, to be honest. Um, like, I, don't, I, down, I download everything, you know, Discord, Spotify, all the workings, uh, in Adobe, Premiere Pro, and Photoshop, and it opened those in a fucking heartbeat, and I've had no problems with Isaac, uh, so I'm very excited for the future, I know it's gonna be a good time, a lot better than the laptop, um, one thing I'll say about the computer, I always never gave a shit about, the, you know, the RGB lights on the computer and, like, the keyboard, all I really wanted was, uh, 
a keyboard with l l for it to light up, just so I can see it in the dark. I didn't give a shit about the, the lights at, at all. Um, you know, if it was just a white light, I'd say good enough. I don't care. You know, my keyboard had a red light. I thought the little red aesthetic was cool, but uh, it was not the selling point, put it that way. If I got the same computer, it was a little cheaper without the red, I, you know, I would have gotten it, because <laughs> that's how little I care about it, as long as it lights up. But now that I have this rainbow keyboard, and like it's like a blue mouse. Oops, I wasn't looking. I was looking at my mouse. <laughs> uh, wow, stop taking damage, you idiots. Uh, but now that... Fuck off! I'm an idiot. <laughs> I, don't, I really don't rage that often, but uh, I feel pressured <laughs> that I'm being recorded. Uh, and when I say I don't rage that often, uh, I mean, Isaac doesn't make me rage that often. Uh, you know, I was playing Mega Man 11 recently, and I was raging. I'm not screaming. I'm not a huge screamer. It's, I'm more of like a fuck off, like I did just now, actually. That's kind of the extent of my raging. Uh, but sometimes, I mean, I'll be salty about longer if it's something serious, but all I did was miss out on chance of the devil deal, so it's fine. So I'm not too worried about it, but I don't rage too hard. I wasn't even looking, God. I just wasn't looking at my computer. Because I was thinking, like, what was I talking? Okay, that okay, that was all me. No excuses there. Because um, just now, the, the hit before the last one, I was literally like, what was I talking about again? Oh, yeah, the RGB lights. And then I looked down at my keyboard to look at them. And I got hit. <laughs> because uh, I'm a dummy. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's snag this. Let's kill you guys. Um, but yeah, I never gave a shit about RGB lights. I didn't think it was stupid, but I didn't understand the hype about it, you know? Because I was like, yeah, it's rainbow color. I guess it's cool. But literally, now that my keyboard has RGB lights, I'm kind of obsessed. <laughs> I think it looks dope as hell, you know? Uh, which I didn't expect to have. I forgot I had the stat reroller, by the way. I completely forgot. Um, but I, I am obsessed with the keyboard. I think it looks really fucking cool. Really cool. And my computer has, you know, lights on it too. Uh, the computer hasn't done anything for me. But it's also daytime and it's not dark in here. Once this entire place is green, <laughs> I think I'll be like, yo! Because green's my favorite color. Um, which is going to be kind of cool because, you know, I've got the green screen. i got a green computer light, which I have a little remote. Uh, it's own remote to change the colors. <laughs> I was expecting, you know, just to go in the settings and change it. I didn't think it was going to be all fucking remote. Uh, I'm probably going to have it so I can rotate through the colors. I'm sure I can do that. I'll be surprised if that's not an option. But for now, it's green. I like the green a lot. Uh, I discovered recently that my second favorite color is purple. Isn't that something? Uh, green was always my go-to. And, it, and it's never... I don't think it's ever not going to be my go-to. Uh, and my favorite shade of green is probably like a neon-ish green. You know, close to... You know the... Game, look up a game green Game Boy. <laughs> That's close to my favorite color, if not my favorite color. Yeah, I'll take a little heart. Uh, what was in there? Oh, yeah, that fucking... Whatever. The bad Cuppy's head was in there. <laughs> uh, not Cuppy's head. Uh, Tammy's head. The bad version of Tammy's head was in the item room last. What was I saying? Oh, yeah. I discovered purple. I like a neon purple. It's probably my favorite color. My second favorite color. Uh, I'm a huge sucker for neon colors. I don't know why. It's just very appealing to me. Green, specifically, has always been very appealing to me. Uh, recently, I realized how much I like purple. Uh, I'll give you a lowdown on my top. Uh, I can't tell you exactly what shade of purple, just some neon purple. Like, I don't have a Game Boy comparison like I did for the fucking uh, green. And no, that's not because I had a Game Boy as a kid and it's always been like that. I got a Game Boy in like 8th grade. Which is still definitely a kid. Fuck you. I am so bad at Isaac. I am worse than NL. Worse. Forget what I said last episode. I'm taking shitty, shitty damage. Um. By the way, for context, I am 22. So, you know, when I was in 8th grade, you know, I had a DS by then. You know, it was way past the Game Boy errors. Errors. Eras. Um. So I didn't have a Game Boy when it was Game Boy time. I got a Game Boy after because I wanted more Nintendo stuff because I love Nintendo. I'm a big Nintendo guy. Um, so, you know, my favorite shade of green being that is not, like, deep-rooted rooted in, like, a childhood love of that Game Boy or anything. Because uh, I love that shade of green before. And once, because I got a Game Boy. I didn't know if my mom knew my favorite color was green. She probably did. Uh, but it was just, she bought me a green Game Boy, specifically. Got it for Christmas one day. Um... 
she came with a bunch of. I think she bought it with like a Game Boy case and a bunch of random games, like you know Power Rangers and shit. I never buy on my own, uh, which is cool. Actually, I actually remember liking that Power Rangers game at the time, at least. Um, but yeah, my top three favorite colors will be uh, neon green, neon purple, and, and black. I will count black as a color, and if you don't, like okay, in okay in general. If you don't want to count black as a color, that's fine with me. But if we're talking favorite colors, black and white, they may not be actual colors. But um, to the eye, those explode. I don't want those. To the eye, fucking black and white are different than every other color. So in a conversation of favorite color, they have to count. They can't not count. Because your eye observes... It differently who cares what it technically is that's not the question here basically the question is what what shade of ah what what shade what what visual thing does your eye find most appealing not what technical color is your favorite that's not a fun question I guess it could be a fine question uh, but that's never what anyone's asking so if you ever say that white or black is your favorite color and they and they go uh, that's not a real call. You gotta pick something else. Tell them to F off, honestly. That's an interesting answer. Well, it's not, not necessarily interesting, but it's a valid answer. I thought I had golden bombs. What happened? That was last floor. Oh, fuck yourself. Oh, my God. Stop taking damage, Calvin. I swear I'm good at Isaac. Uh, it's the rant energy getting to me. So, honestly, never let someone tell you that your answer of black or white's bad for that question. It's perfect. I think the answer is perfect. You know what? It's perfect! Anyway, uh, I guess I'm going to talk about Nintendo now since uh, I was talking about the Game Boy just now because I don't know how much longer I can talk about colors. I think my rant's over here. Um, yeah, I am a huge Nintendo guy. I grew up on, you know, the 64. Um, I also, we also had an NES as a kid, but it never worked, so I just had a lot of NES cartridges to look at. Um, I got one later. Like, I think it was... Stop taking damage, Calvin. You're gonna die. You are going to die. Um, maybe I should reroll stats, honestly. I'm considering it with my low damage. But yeah, we had a SNES, which worked. But, like, as a kid, you know, the, the SNES, the Super Nintendo, that felt really old. Like, the 64? This is modern. This is now. That's kind of how it felt with this, the SNES. That's last generation. I wasn't even born then. That shit's super old. So I was kind of like a little, not scared, but I was like, always hesitant to use it because I was like, I is it going to work? It's so old. I don't know if it'll work. Uh, so every time we got up and running, which felt like an event, uh, it worked, by the way. It, it was fine. Uh, it felt like an event. And uh, it, I loved it. It was so cool as a kid. I still love it now. Um, the only real game I really played on the Super Nintendo was Mario World, I think. I can't remember what else we had on as a kid. But, uh, yeah, I'd say the 64 is my main, my main jam as a child. Uh, well, I was a super young, I'm taking both, by the way. I kind of hate Death's Lift, but it can give me some stat increases, which I need right now. Um, do I, did I knock out of my item room? God. That's stupid. <laughs> um, so, 64 is my main jam as a youngin. Uh, for like when I think it's super young, it was, you know, all about that fucking Mario. Wow, too bad I missed out on this. It's all about the Mario Kart, you know, Star Fox, Mario 64, you know, all the classics besides Banjo and Zoo. I never played that as a kid. I still haven't played it now, actually. Oh, that's right, it's Greed. Um, and then, you know, I play GameCube a lot. Love the GameCube. Love the 64. Love the Wii. I have, I have every Nintendo console is what I'm trying to get at. Um, why, oh, that wasn't even worth it. I don't know why I put a bomb there for that. But, yeah, as a kid, it was all Nintendo. We also had a PS2. I like the PS2 a lot. Uh, did not hold a candle to any Nintendo consoles, in my opinion. Uh, though, I loved a lot of PS2 games. I still love it a lot. Uh, I'm huge into old school gaming still. Uh, I don't play it often, uh, but that's just because, you know, I live in a tiny apartment, studio apartment, and, you know, switching between consoles is very, very annoying here, so I kind of switched to, well, recently I've, I've switched to pretty much exclusively the Switch and PS4, 
Uh, but now I have a computer, so it's pretty much gonna be PS4, Switch computer. I even have the Wii U. I have the uh, Zelda edition Wii U, which is kind of pointless now because the gamepad doesn't work. So I have to use a Pro controller and I get a new gamepad. So it's kind of like, oh, well, I have the you know Legend of Zelda edition, but mm, it doesn't work. So I, do I really have it? You know that kind of thing. You know I have go ahead to this. Spirit heart can be wasted, so I shouldn't scream when I lose it, but I might. Wait, let me kill you first. Even though it's going to be irrelevant as soon as this guy spits out any bad guy. Unless he's not the type to do that. Uh, what's my favorite console, you ask? My mean answer is always GameCube. Because I think that was a sweet spot in my childhood. Where I wasn't too young or too old. You know, I think it's the perfect nostalgia age. Basically, is what I'm trying to get at. Though I'm very, very nostalgic for the uh, 64 and the the Wii as well. Wii U, uh, I'm actually a bit nostalgic for it. You know, I got it in high school. So, you know, the older you are, the harder it is to get nostalgic about certain things. But uh, once, because my Wii U was in, because I'm out of my hometown right now, in a new town... And it was in my hometown for a while at my mom's because I didn't have room for it. Well, I didn't want to have room for it, basically. But uh, I brought it up recently, like a few months ago. Once I turned it on and I heard, like, the startup sound, which is nothing. It's just a white screen with its logo. And I think, it, I can't remember what it goes off, but once you get to the Mi Plaza or whatever you want to call it, um, it makes a little noise, I believe. Or just, the, you know, it's the background atmosphere music. That shit got to me. I was like, whoa. This reminds me of the Wii U days, which was high school, which feels like so long ago now. So, you know, it's cool. I can get nostalgic about things in high school now. It's really cool, I think, at least. Nostalgia's fun. Uh, too much nostalgia bad, though. Uh, that's one thing I hate about the internet, you know? Oh, I didn't even see you here. Uh, this, the internet ruins nostalgia because people plastic everywhere because people, cause people love nostalgia. So people get too much of it sometimes, I think, honestly. That's honestly one negative, huge negative I have against the internet. You know, like, you know, it'd be nice, like, oh, I have a lot of fucking money. Um, sorry. My brain just can't do two things at once, I guess. You know, I like to watch a lot of videos, like a lot of YouTubers. Uh, literally, Nintendo YouTubers have kind of ruined old school Mario music for me. Not ruined, and Zelda music, because uh, they play in the background constantly. So that music kind of means nothing to me. It meant nothing to me for a while. So I stopped watching a lot of YouTubers that, you know, put Nintendo music in the background. Because I'm not getting the same feeling from it. It's like when you listen to the same song, like if you listen to a song from your childhood, it's going to take you back to the time when you love that song. But if you keep playing it, suddenly the nostalgia, that time period is going to slowly start to fade away. You'll still remember what that song represented and what it was about. But you're not getting, like, those flashbacks anymore. You know, the, the vibe flashbacks. You're not going to be like, oh, yeah, this fucking Black Eyed Peas song I listen to on my way to karate all the time. Uh, it brings you right back there. You know, if I listen to I'm a B like, ten times in a row, or if I add to my playlist, I'm going to forget that I'm a B reminding me of fucking karate, you know? <laughs> and I think it's bad. I think it's bad to lose the nostalgic uh, connections like that because you always have the memory but the connection will leave uh, I'm very organized in my music playlist for this exact reason because uh, you know I fucking love a lot of music but I'm quick to cut some off because when the music stops giving me you know that feeling of oh fuck yes like because it's always going to be great and I'm always going to love these songs but music gives you a certain feeling uh, when you're first really into it and as soon as that feeling... It's hard to describe. I can't describe it, to be honest. So we're going to leave it at that. If you know what I'm talking about, you know. And if not, maybe one day you'll know. Honestly, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I, I feel bad for you. I feel like you need to dip your toes in music more. Or maybe just some people don't get those feelings ever. I don't know. I don't know. But that's why I'm so quick to cut music off. Because once that feeling starts going away, I'm, just, I'm not appreciating it as much. And I want to find new music to appreciate. That are, that's really going to make me reminiscent of that time. So I'm quick to cut music off, honestly. Uh, I always go back. 
I always go back, but I can't. I only go back so often because I don't want to ruin the nostalgic feeling. And you know, I've been watching SpongeBob recently because it's on CBS All Access, which is actually now Paramount Plus. By the way, my chair is squeaky, so sorry for this. Oh, she didn't squeak. Okay, I adjusted. I was gonna squeak. Um, I watched SpongeBob. Nostalgia has not gone away for SpongeBob for me, but I've also been watching episodes kind of infrequently. You know, I'll go on a little SpongeBob binge where I watch not binge, uh, a real SpongeBob kick where I watch you know SpongeBob an episode of SpongeBob for dinner every day for like a week, and I'll like stop for a couple of weeks and I'll go back to it. Like that's good. That feels like a healthy amount of nostalgia. And honestly, the old SpongeBob's are fucking great. You know, they're great. They really are. They're so funny. Well, not like so funny. I'm like dying of laughter, but they're funny. They're charming as fuck. Um, and I still like them. And I think if anyone uh, doesn't like them, I think they're a little weirdo. Or I think if anyone judges you for liking it, it's like, watch this SpongeBob. It's literally not bad, you know? Um, and it's not like I'm watching all cartoons, you know? I remember in college, I watched an episode of Jimmy Neutron with my friend because we were in like nostalgia before we were talking about it. Uh, you know, I watched a couple episodes of that. So it's not like I watch every No Kids cartoon. You know, if you do, I actually don't care. It's fine. Um, but if anyone makes fun of uh, you for something like that, they're a little, they're a little dumb. I don't know where I'm going with this. <laughs> I feel like I had a fucking point, but I don't remember it. Uh, I just kind of started calling people who don't exist. Please get it. Whoa, okay. I started calling out people who don't exist out. Uh, they're a little dumb. <laughs> they're, probably, they're not dumb. They're just ignorant, honestly, if I, I would say anything. I don't know what I'm saying. Rambling. Um, yeah, that's why. I, fuck me. I'm an. I'm an idiot. I'm a little stupid. A little stupid. Um, what am I gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna panic right here. That's what I'm gonna fucking do. Die. I need you to die or I die, okay? Thank you. <laughs> that was actually kind of scared. I was a little panicked. Uh, yeah, fuck contract right honestly the contract gave me or the death list is what it's called it gave me one damage up content content uh hey you got an item that rerolls stats yeah well i don't use it okay <laughs> it's scary it's scary you don't have a battery charge i don't want to be rolled into something awful and that oh let's not take that yet uh fuck me damn it ah i clicked q by accident <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. It's not like I could have used it uh, to get out of a boss rush, but could have used it on the next floor. I missed out on my shop with 66 fucking coins. God, Calvin, look out for mom's feet. Uh, who cares if you can't see because of black star? You should have known it was there. Listen to the audio cues. Alright, alright? Alright. Which is actually one small pet peeve I have with Isaac. Is that sometimes the floor can get so covered with like blood or you know tar, I suppose, wherever this is. Yeah, it's a ball of tar. Um, if you're playing with headphones, it's kind of impossible to know things are coming down sometimes, like mom's foot. I know that, like the room shakes before uh, mom's foot's or mom's hand. Yeah, mom's hand are in random rooms, so you can still see the visual cue. Uh, but for this, uh, this is the Polaroid, yes. Uh, but for this, it's hard to tell. So it's small pet peeve. Because nine times out of ten when I'm playing Isaac, I have headphones and I listen to music. Uh, just because I've heard the soundtrack so often. But now I can't. Because I'm recording. Um, fuck my brain, bro. Fuck that stupid monkey brain who can't play Isaac. This is no excuse to die on a run. This is no excuse to die on a run. This run isn't that bad. Uh, did it. Did it. Everything's worse. Everything is worse. This is what I'm scared of, folks. This isn't too bad, though. Uh, but nothing's good. Nothing is good. Nothing's good. I panicked. I was literally like, I refuse to die on this run. On streak number two. The audience is going to think I'm a sham. You know? So I panicked and pressed space bar. Why did I panic, you ask? I don't know. I don't know. Brain on a conversation. Brain empty. Fuck that. Okay, let me... Yeah, okay. Brain should be empty. Let me focus. Let me focus on not dying so I don't die on episode two like I almost just fucking did. 
Uh, honestly, though, I will be sad if I die, but I really won't feel that bad. Um, well, actually, I will feel bad because I feel like I'm letting... Nice. Uh, actually, I don't care. My audience down a bit. My audience here doesn't exist yet. Um, but I really... I don't feel bad personally. Ah, the Eternal Heart. I lost that behind because of the fucking accidental play. Uh, I just haven't played in so long. I really still do feel like I'm getting the dust out. Uh, my wrist literally hurts because I'm not using a controller. And uh, my setup's poor. Um, so I feel bad YouTube-wise, but personally-wise... I'm just kind of like, I'm still getting the dust off. I really don't care right now. Um, and I don't think I'm doing terrible. I think I'm just not paying the most attention. No, I thought that was sticky. Well, what can you do? Uh, one of the most annoying horsemen. Is this the, the most annoying horseman? Oh, does the hourglass slow enemies down? Is that why I didn't use last run? Is he the most annoying horseman? I suppose war can be annoying when he's running at you, but I don't know. The sides are very annoying, especially in like a Mega Satan fight. It's like, no, thank you to those uh, sides. All right. All right. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't. Ha. Uh, Mod the boy. I made my decision. Made my decision. Let me drink some water. I actually don't think I knew that Maw of the Void was a uh, damage up. <sighs> so now, when I eventually do a tier list every single video, uh, I mean <laughs> video, item, I have to put Maw of the Void in front of Gimpy. It's official. I can't go back on this now. Uh, I do think Maw of the Void is better. Just, I feel like there is absolutely more output potential. I may be wrong. Mm, stay here, Calvin. But I think so. Cause you know you get one room of spiders, you could be on cloud nine. Cloud nine. Uh, I think this room is uh, this run. I don't, I don't want to say secured, but I think this run is picking up now again. Um, one thing I kind of hate about uh, Isaac streamers. Maybe this is just an NL thing actually, because I only watch him. Um, I hate when he gets like a really good run and he's like, okay, I'm not confident yet. We still could lose this. I know he's kind of saying it, saying that to save his own butt. But like, I don't know, when I'm confident, you know, I play enough eyes to be like, I'm going to win this. I haven't made a fool of myself yet, <laughs> you know? I haven't made a fool of myself yet, so maybe I just need to make a fool of myself real quick and then I'll start saying, not one just yet, but we're close, you know? Uh... I thought that was a sticky nickel again. What's wrong with my brain? Yeah, I don't want to Fuck, okay, let me... Uh, hang on. My, my floor is literally on, like, a little slant. Um, so sometimes my chair slides a bit. And I was adjusting. But I cannot adjust a uh, chair with while playing Isaac, you know? Cannot do that. We found out today. Well, the more you know. Who knew? I would have guessed you could. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I think you could have. I would have guessed yes. Demon hearts. Demon hearts for days. Alright, just the wrist. Rotate the wrist. Just, you know, air it out. Uh, I'll take a little evil. I, I have n zero knowledge of fucking trinkets in this goddamn game. Honestly. I should start looking them up, to be honest. Uh, oh, too bad we got rid of the poop. Which, actually, the poop would be great. I don't know what evil up does. I assume demon hearts more chance of demon hearts being spawned but i just don't know some Ooh, nice little fucking what's it called i want to call it a contract but i know it's not uh we'll not be taking the pill just kidding me and metemesis didn't matter i'll take this one too that's fine actually i can rock mod the void would have done it in this room anyway um Hey, I can't help but notice you're not doing all the things you're supposed to be doing um, during an Isaac streak. Uh, that's because I don't have enough bad experiences to rule out pills. Uh, honestly, that's probably the truth. Like, I get why people have a no pill rule. Um, I don't. Uh, if I'm in a precarious position, more often than not, I'll probably risk it. Um... Because I guess I like to take risks. I don't know. I'll risk it, though. 
if I'm in a good position or like I really need like just that one bit of HP or like my tears cannot go any lower or something like that, I'm, I'm, I might not take it. But more often than not, I will take it. Like right now, I think I have a little bit to lose. Oh, baby. You know what? Nothing bad happened there. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I'll get hearts in the future, too. I'm not going to go there. Alright. Uh, I can't wait for this video to end just so I can eat. <laughs> I'm very hungry. Uh, about halfway through this, I was like, I am starving. Because my computer arrived. Like My computer was at, arriving was actually my alarm today. I heard a knock on the door. And I was like, oh, one second. And then I put on a pair of pants and I answered the door shirtless. He was like... Uh, hey, I'm UPS man. Uh, I got your package here. Uh, we typically need you to sign for it, but it's COVID, so I'm just gonna write your name on this on my little system here, and that's basically how we sign. And I'm like, all right, cool. He was like, all right, I'm gonna stay. I'm like, you too, sir. And then I like was like, computer yes! in my head. You know, I was freaking out. Like finally, because this computer actually arrived a little late. Uh, well, by a little late, I was supposed to come on a Friday, but I didn't. Uh, and they don't deliver on weekends here. So, I had to wait a whole weekend, which I feel like it probably would have uh, delivered, you know, the next day if it wasn't a weekend. But, it's alright. Um, so, I was very excited, because it was a little late, and I was expecting to get Friday. Um, so, my was like, yes, and I ate, like, a bagel, and it's been, like, six hours since then, and I'm starving. Because I was so excited, because I just wanted to fucking set the computer pronto. That's what I did. And then now I'm hungry. Now I'm here. <laughs> what can you do? Oh, troll bomb. Don't fucking troll bomb when I'm not looking at the screen. Oh, shit. I think I might have one black for you guys just now. I pressed the F key, which unfull screened it. Uh, which revealed, you know, my Steam background. Nothing crazy. Calvin, stop getting hit, you baboon. You baboon. Did you know a group of monkeys is called a... <laughs> um, I was watching Game Grumps yesterday. I heard such a funny thing. <laughs> was, actually, I couldn't get over it for a mi minute. Like, I, I laughed at that harder than I should have. He, he was like... It was a conversation. Dan was like... If you don't like Game Grumps, two guys, Aaron and Dan. Uh, he was like, what's a, uh, what's a group of clowns called? And Aaron was like, a, it's called a... I can't do the noise, but it's the noise of the... F I might die soon. Ugh. Uh, it's the noise of a fucking clown horn. It was funny. <laughs> Why am I reciting someone else's fucking jokes? Uh, I gotta turn off the lower right hand friends playing games, because I think it's annoying. And I guess it'd be awkward. On stream, I suppose. Uh, welcome to Vincal Plays, our Kielben. Um... I talk about jokes that other creators made. <laughs> Apparently. Do 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 my my brain defaults to the bad guy uh beat sometimes. I don't know why. I like it, I like the song. Don't know why my brain has to go do 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 it's just one of those things, you know. Ooh, ooh damage! I would rather have a spirit heart there, because I think my HP is like maybe two left, honestly. Pretty shitty. But, spirit heart here, though. No, red heart. Mm -mm, not what I want. I'm scared. I'm scared of going in here. I think my nose is fucking itchy. Okay, okay. Uh, let's do that. Let's go. Okay, good. Mm -mm, no, don't kill me. That wasn't... I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I, knew it. I was going to say that. <laughs> I was literally about to yell. That wasn't a demon heart! No! Uh, so, I feel bad for the audience, but I don't feel bad personally. Because, like I said, I haven't played in a few months. And I'm on a keyboard. And my wrist hurts and I'm starving, honestly. I kind of want to get this run out of the way. Uh, I feel like that's how some streamers that operate. Sometimes they're impatient. Uh, so, that's probably why people lose a lot. Um, yeah. Welcome to the first failure. Uh, uh, like I said, I've gone a 30 streak before. And I'm on, I honestly win more runs than I lose, I'd say, to be honest. So, this is me getting warmed up. This is me setting a precedent for better things to come. Uh, and honestly, if I do keep losing, this, these videos will not go on forever. Because uh, I don't want to upload a bunch of failed Isaac runs. Uh, so, you can tell by how many episodes there are, how many, how good I am. Alright, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!